Well, a great way to start this video is by saying that the thing I tried to do with my webcam that I mentioned later in the video about using my iPhone didn't really work out because I can't find a way to transfer my footage from there to my computer, so disregard anything that has to do with the webcam in this video. Yo guys, it's up, Sulfide. Welcome back to the newest video. In today's video, we're going to be playing Drowning, and uh, I haven't watched or seen too much into this game. I'm just kind of going to experience firsthand what it is and we're gonna get straight into it the music seems really nice the poly style is kind of like my thing so i know it says continue i was just loading the game before to kind of see how it ran uh, we're just gonna hop in a new game and test this out year eight okay where's my mouse in the middle of the screen Ooh. okay i was able to get it off all right where do i go I still remember the day we first met. Okay. Follow the path. I was in year eight and you had no friends. Oh, while I was alone, you came and sat next to me. I hardly recognized you were there. That's nice. You were quiet, like me. Every time I was alone, you would come and visit. Did they ever say anything? But you wouldn't say anything. Okay, there's my instant answer. There's the nice music kicking in. Weeks went by. And... And you still wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> okay. So I ignored you. Well, that's nice. And you left me alone. Well, that's what happens when you ignore people. Ooh, there's a little wave of, like, rendering or something. Wait, was that the sun? It's a shadow, I can't tell. It wasn't long after you left until the holidays started. And my family decided to go overseas. Did you go with them? Is this like the Home Alone plot? It was my first time on a plane, so I was kind of nervous. But I eventually overcame my fear. While we were overseas, we mainly did stuff with our family. Well, yeah. Who else are you going to do it with? You're overseas with your family. It was a lot of fun. I didn't think life could get any better. Well, that's nice. And definitely not worse. I don't know how to interpret, it, interpret that one. As much as I didn't want to, we had to leave. But all good things must come to an end. Okay, that's sad. <laughs> arrived home on the last day of the holidays you guys hear that like the key change oh life was good oh waterfall the key change for a second was weird but then school started oh that made me cringe and you were there but you were different what <laughs> You seemed more confident. What happened over the break? Oh, there's water just going through a rock. But no one liked you. More confident, but no one liked you. That sucks. Left or right, left or right, left or right, left, right. Oh, no left. I didn't understand why. You seemed fine to me. So we became friends. Okay, did you ever share a word? Guess we're about to find out. Every day, you opened up a little more. Okay, alright. And you started talking to me. Finally, some words. What was said? We became close. This happened very quickly. <laughs> Later that week, I told another friend about you. He warned me that you were dangerous. Okay. But I didn't see how. 
So I ignored what he said. After all, he barely knew you. Hmm. Okay. Trash talking about people you don't know. Seems like a normal school thing. Soon after, we became friends. There's a, a misplaced a comma. You started telling me strange things. Okay. You told me one of my good friends didn't want me as their friend anymore. I must miss that anymore. It made no sense. So I just ignored you, hoping you would leave me alone. And you were good friends and you were close, and now this is happening? This is, uh, weird. But you never did. Never left him alone. You just walk into a different room or something. You kept going. Hopefully the music doesn't get weird. We're walking in circles now. Music's nice so far. Telling me the same thing over and over again. And you got louder. Weird. I started to believe what you were saying. Because he got louder? Because he and or she? I don't know gender here. I didn't know what to do. I decided the best thing to do was to let you keep going. And pretend I didn't care. Just to let you guys know, I'm holding down shift to run. If, if I went the entire time, this would be the speed. So I'm running through this. I'd look around more if I didn't have to read this text. It took a while. Where are we heading? But you eventually became a voice at the back of my head. But I couldn't forget what you said. It was like your voice was stuck on endless loop. And I believed every word. Don't. That's not a good idea. You convinced me. That my friend didn't need me. Well, that's sad. And was better off without me. Very sad, again. So I naturally distanced myself from him. Yeah. Thinking that was my only option. The voice became controlling, because how do you make someone like you? Well, you can't. That truly hates you. Mmm. Whenever he would start a conversation, there's trees. I would purposely seem uninterested. Well, that's not nice. Jeez. Okay. So he would talk to somebody else. Well, you're going to lose a friend like that. Somebody he really wants to talk to. I think I'm putting the wrong emphasis on these words. Someone he really wants to talk to. It looked like I was being rude. Well, yeah, that's kind of being rude. But I was really doing him a favor. You thought you were doing him a favor. You weren't actually. I saved him the embarrassment of having to talk to me in front of others. Now, why would somebody that was your friend be embarrassed? And I saved him the efforts of being nice and pretending to care. Well, there was no indication of pretending it's kind of literally just the voice or the person in the back of your head that was very abrupt and my heart started shaking start shaking <laughs> i weird okay i was happy for school to start so i could see my friends you didn't like seeing me like this so you disappeared i never really understood why you kept coming and going but i was glad you were gone Ooh. It wasn't until now that I realized. I enjoyed life a lot more when you weren't around. So I became scared of you. Ooh. Okay. 
and I began to hate school. Because I didn't want to be friends with you anymore. But I tried my best not to worry too much. Because I knew you would, you love seeing me like this. It's the first time I've had to stop for text. They're getting closer and closer. School was great at first. There's no music going right now. <laughs> ah. Oh, there it goes. I got to hang out with friends I hadn't seen in a while. Did that other friend come back? I even spoke to one of the new students. That's nice. Who soon after became one of my closest friends. That's also nice. But then you came along. Oh no, here we go again. Pushed away a closest friend, and you destroyed the fun I was having. Oof. You told me to stop speaking to people who don't like me. And did you assume everybody didn't like me? Because all I'm doing... That's a text filled up. That was way premature. I'm all doing are making pe are making more people hate me. I thought the best thing to do was ignore you. So that's what I did. And I'm guessing got louder and louder until you believed. Not long after, I was walking down the school hallway. I feel like I'm slightly dyslexic or something. It's hard to read. And I saw the new guy standing with a group of people. So I said hi. And, but he ignored me. Well, is it because you're being rude? It was kind of like he was embarrassed to know me. Even though we were good friends. Well, at least I thought we were. Hmm. That night, when trying to fall asleep, the thought of the new guy kept crossing my mind. I just couldn't figure out what I did. And all you were doing was telling me how you were right all along. And how I should have listened to you. I didn't even understand why it was bothering me so much. All I knew is that I was losing sleep over something that probably doesn't even matter. Oof. Big oof. So what now? Waking up in the middle of the night became normal. Oh jeez. Losing sleep's not gonna help that uh that voice in your head. And my friends noticed I looked more tired than I usually did. So they asked if everything was okay. Okay in all caps, jeez. Is everything okay? But you said to remember what you told me. And be careful what I say to them. I get, I'm getting a grasp on this now. So I told them I was fine. Alright, well, this is, uh, even though I was far from it. This is, uh, depression. Telling no one about, telling no one about you was hard. Yeah, depression. I really wanted to. I got, like, chills. But you wouldn't let me. You'd keep reminding me of how I've already made other people hate me. Jeez, rough. It's getting, this is getting rough. I didn't know what to do. You wouldn't leave me alone. Depression's a big bully. You knew I was scared of you. Yeah. And it made you happy. Oh. My fingers are cramping from pressing the same button, just holding them down. Music, hello? You're fading out. Top of the hill? I don't get what the visual representation is just yet. I guess we're going to be like happy or whatever or get loaded into another thing. The very abrupt black screens are very uh, shocking. Because like, oof. It was only a matter of time before you would leave me alone. 
so I tried to learn how to control my emotions. Ooh, I'm tired. Ugh. Ooh, straight path. Somewhat. I was getting quite good at it. Sweet. Getting friend requests on Facebook. And it seemed to make you angry. Well, yeah, because depression's getting kind of suppressed. That I could feel happiness. I thought I finally found a way to remove you from my life. And then coming back is what I'm guessing. And I didn't need to worry about you coming back. Oh, you're a lot. Woo. Hmm. Then my parents told me they were getting a divorce. Uh oh. It's gonna hit hard. Yep. Where are we at? Year 10? This is kind of going by grade school years, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, that's kind of how it's playing out. Year 10. What's year 10 looking like? Ooh, scene change for sure. Got a little choppy for a second. Are we on a beach? After my parents separated, you kept telling me it was my fault. Oh boy. With no one telling me otherwise, it was hard not to listen to you. Well, yeah, the constant voice in your head's gonna be there when you're by yourself. You said not to tell anyone. You said not to tell anyone what happened. Because no one wants to hear or know anything about me or my miserable life. This is getting very tense. So I kept everything to myself. Huh. Even though I desperately wanted to tell somebody. When I try to sleep, you keep reminding me of all the things I could have done to stop this from happening. Yeah, gonna overthink it a little bit. Since you wouldn't let me sleep, I would distract myself by playing video games. Oh. Ah. Ah. But they weren't as fun as they used to be. Okay. Hitting a little hard. They felt more like a task or an assignment rather than a relaxation activity. A relaxation activity. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. It took way more effort than it used to. But it was the only way to feel like life wasn't that bad. Just for a moment. I've yawned like 50 times already. It's only 6.30 in the afternoon. That was a quick year. Okay. Very odd. Give my hand a break for a second. Ooh. All right. Year 11. What's it got in store for us? Oh, ooh, ooh, foggy. Super foggy, okay. I don't like this at all. I found myself getting irritated with everything. For someone who's not great at reading, this is kind of hard. Everybody annoyed me. Okay. It was impossible to calm down and relax, so you're constantly tense and on edge and listening to the voice in your head. <sighs> but if I wasn't angry at everyone, is he replacing he or she replacing depression with anger so I could feel something different? I feel empty and numb. Okay kind of crack and open that a little bit like a black hole sucking in anything that made me feel emotion Whew. man kind of see through these that's kind of i was wearing a heavy suit of armor armor doesn't look like it's spelled right <laughs> 
and every m movement took a tremendous amount of effort and was completely exhausting. And maybe that's why I'm yawning. I just... <sighs> no matter how hard I tried, I was unable to take it off. Was that like armor stuck on you or like the, the heavy weight? It was as loud as it was heavy. Okay, so like super heavy metal chain link armor, I'm guessing. It felt like I annoyed anyone who walked past me. This is getting rough, dude. It was like I needed to apologize to anyone who dealt with my presence. It was like everyone was annoyed at me and I was letting everyone down. Even like random people. Like just their presence was like letting them down. <sighs> My body felt like I was constantly coming down with the flu. That would suck. I've had that twice. So having that constantly... I'd get headaches and feel nauseous. Man. I was always in physical discomfort. I am now just trying not to move so my camera doesn't freak out. Feel another yawn coming on. Whew. Whether I was at school... Out with my family, or at a friend's place, I never felt comfortable. Try seeing a therapist or something. That's a That text is, I'm all the way back here. I just wanted to stay in my room all day and stop pretending like everything was alright. Hmm. Okay. There it is, the overexposure. And I hated socializing. Well, yeah, because you felt like everybody was getting bothered by you. I would avoid social situations like the plague. Whew. I never answered my phone with a doorbell, and I decided almost every part. I declined almost every party invitation because every person I avoided was somebody's day not ruined. That's a bad way to look at it. Yeah, that's a pretty bad way to look at it. Year 12? Last year? I'm guessing there's going to be a little bit of good and probably like a lot of bad just with the way things are painted. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like a lot of bad. A lot of bad. It is dark and purple or blue. Oh boy. I am in the middle of a vast ocean. This is the, uh, the description that a lot of people give and they like say they're drowning or just feel like if they swim, they're going nowhere. And I can't keep my head above water anymore. Yeah, I know this feeling. Man. I'm nearly out of breath. <sighs> yeah, it kind of feels like we're walking on the ocean floor, not really going anywhere. No one is going to help me. Man, this took a deep turn over a course of like three years. <sighs> Plus like school assignments and everything and like having to keep up with this. Every time I swim to the surface and gasp for air... eyes are watering I sink down to the very bottom once you feel like you're making a breakthrough you just plummet again yeah over and over again 
and again. And again, is it going to like keep, is it going to be more like spread out? Like the overthinking part, I guess. That'd be a good display of it. I have lost all hope. And I don't know what to do. Let's see if I can make it through the O. I feel like they're getting a little lower. Yeah, look at how vast and empty everything is. Like if there was that forest here. Oh man, what now? Oh, it's so dark. Okay, you guys can see that. What are you doing? We talk. Are we talking? Is this depression? I'm ending everything. Oh no 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 no. No no. There's a tree in the way. Why? This is a conversation. Okay. Because there's nothing left for me in this world. It's not true. It's only the mindset. What about your friends and family? Okay, maybe it's like the voice of reason. What about the people you love and respect? I'm doing them a favor. With every positive, there's a negative outlook that you can have too. And it goes both ways, vice versa. No, you're not. Okay, yeah, this seems to be the voice of reason. You're going to hurt them. I bet they're going to say something about like them being around hurts them or whatever. You're about to put them through a great, a great amount of pain. You're about to put them through a great amount of pain you've never experienced. I think it'd be like the greatest amount of pain you've never experienced, but this is what you want. Is that what you want? Shut up. <sighs> Comes the anger. You don't know what pain is. You're the reason I'm doing this in the first place. Okay, maybe not the voice of reason. You show up out of nowhere. You put thoughts in my head. And you tell me things that aren't true. And I can't take it anymore. So I'm doing this for me and no one else. Because I'm tired of being in a place I don't belong. Man, from just walking, like this is a lot. House? Um, this is the first building we've seen. Wish I was just like a tad faster. I'm sprinting. It's not what I wanted to see. Cold chills. Cold chills on my body. Gosh dang it, dude. I'm guessing we did it. Oh, man. I just got chills. No. You've got it all wrong. You did this to me. 
You drove me to the point of insanity. You're a demon. Oof. That's where you're wrong. Okay, music coming in. This whole time I've been trying to help you. What? Help you to come to terms with yourself. Not a very good way of doing it. I came to you because I saw you doubting yourself. And it seemed as though others were doubting you as well. And it hurt me. I didn't want to see you like that anymore. So I tried showing you a different way of viewing the world. Doesn't sound like a great one. And I tried to help you embrace your uniqueness. How? By pushing everybody away? And show you that there is nothing wrong with being different from everyone else. Okay, I thought I knew what this game was about. But no matter how much I told you. You wouldn't listen. You let the thoughts of yourself and others get to you. And you confused those thoughts with me. What? I'm lost. I didn't know what to do. I really wanted to tell someone. But I didn't want anyone to think differently of me. Okay, that's understandable. And they'd all say the same thing anyway. Well, that's not true. I mean, probably a lot of people would say the same thing, but not everybody. They would say, I would need to get help. Well, yeah. Say, a lot of people say that. They would say that because they care about you. It's a good response. And they don't know what great amount of pain you're dealing with. Well, yeah, your whole parents getting divorced in a late stage of your life. I didn't know what to do. I thought the best thing to do for me and everyone else was to end everything. And that just resulted in hurting the people that love you. Man. I only wanted to know what it felt like to feel again. Eyes are watering up. To be happy. And to be loved. Then go back. Seek help. And learn how to love again. Man. Just like you used to. Whoa. Whoa. Blue. Alright, portal. And black screen. Whoa. I got cold chills. That was a good game. That was definitely, uh, I like that. I like that. Being able to walk through and kind of have a story base saying like, you're just the viewer of the world reading all the, all the, uh, text coming through in the poly world and kind of getting the representation of the text through the world and kind of getting a story. I like how it didn't specify like gender or anything. It's just kind of like something that's very uh, kind of a blanketed thing that can apply to most people that feel all this. So, oh, a little thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making the game. Uh, that was a really good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to put down your thoughts and everything, go down the comment section below and let me know. And if you guys want to see any more games like this, let me know. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.